So one of the questions that always follows me around every single day is what is my inner wisdom today? Because you can always ask the question, well, what is inner wisdom? But I find that it's really something that's revealed to me as I go. So let's dig in. When I'm doing my thing every day, I'm always wondering what's the next step? You know, I listened to Oprah give a talk with uh, the Stanford student body, I think a year or two ago. And one of the things she says that she does is she gets really quiet and then she does the next thing. And everyone's sitting there going, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What is that? What is the next thing? How does one even determine what is right and what is true within yourself? And for many years I was confused. Like, was this something that you find in meditation? Does somebody speak to you, some voice? Is it revealed in metaphor throughout the world? Which a lot of people say, yes, it is. If God speaks to you in many ways, a phrase that I heard growing up in the church a lot. And none of it really stuck. And I find that inner wisdom now, after having really sat with it, sat with this question, seems to be the thing that continues to burn whenever your to-do list is done. There's some hunger that still exists. And I hear this for many speakers who get up on stage and talk to large audiences. They all say something similar, that there is a hunger, there is a fire, there is a desire within you to do something or many things. And those things continue to burn within you. Even once you've finished all of your tasks and those things can be revealed to you. Like that burning is revealed in different ways. In some moments, it can be you hear a song and you just spontaneously burst into dance, which happens to me rarely, but it does happen, which I always find very interesting. Most recent one was in the gym. But that's how it moved through me one day. Some days it is through phrases that appear. I just sit and contemplate. I find that many times though, if I'm sitting in that space of desire, it's a sensation in my body. It's this, this, this motion towards something. Like, a, like a, a friend once offered the phrase spiritual instinct. That when I really sit and connect to, there's this thing that I feel within my body. There's this desire to move toward that thing, whatever that is. For many times for me, it's making music. And it makes no sense. And it can be at any hour of the day, which is something that I really notice is that when I ignore my inner wisdom, it will wake me up to get my attention however it can. And it will be at three o'clock in the morning when I wake up wide awake, my mind starts running on all these things I want to be doing, I want to be doing in my life. And really to get quiet and do the next thing it's really different for everybody, but it's finding, finding the flavor, the nuance of that little voice that whispers in your head or the sensations that arise in your heart or in your belly and following those and specifically what seems to be a consistent pattern among this inner wisdom is that it actually creates an openness in you, an energetic and physical relaxation and an openness. <sighs> And so many times I find if I just follow my relief, that is the next thing for me to do. I go, oh yeah, oh yeah, no, that totally makes sense to do. But I have to do the work to get there because it might just be a sensation and I might be really closed and frustrated for a while. But to figure out what is my inner wisdom today, I really have to sit, sit in this sensation, sit in the question of what is, what is it that I need to know right now? What is my inner wisdom today? Because it can change every day as we go. But to really pay attention, use this tool that you have, this beautiful, amazing tool. Follow the sensation of what brings you relief. Oh, yes, that I don't have to worry anymore because this is the right next thing for me to do. Go there. That is so far what I've experienced as what inner wisdom is day in, day out. What do you think? Let me know. Buy me here. Find me elsewhere, say hi, let me know what you think.